No. It was his duty. It was his duty recently. He was on guard duty. Roderick put him on a shift during the night because things were getting stolen, so... Yeah. What? 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 What was he guarding? Just guarding the halls. Okay, the halls. Barracks, the, where everybody was sleeping, where, you know, the storage, yeah. where we keep the food. Uh, I, I let, uh, the, uh, I let, uh, shit, I forgot your name, Eric, uh, conduct his investigation here, and I'll make sure to leave at least five of you here, and search for any clues that you can find in here if the, uh, the attacker might have left something or maybe there's a clue in here uh, mm -hmm. Roderick and point as the rest of the guards and I will gather up the rest of the uh, rest of the ship and we'll meet in the hangar bay after that we'll use that scrying sphere and see if we can find anyone who isn't in this particular room or in that cargo hole because if we can find one more, that means they're not part of the crew. Just as a reminder, Captain, the scry only targets around, uh, I'd say, about 30-ish feet. And this is, a, like, a, if I recall correctly, like 200 feet. Yeah, it's a big ship. That's It's, it's going to take a little while. I can't, I, I can just reuse it, right? Or is it a one-time use? Well, no, no, you can use crystal ball of... Whatever, what, yeah. which is one mind reading problem. Uh, I believe it's a three, three time use. Three days. Three, three, three days. Uh, three a day. Yeah. Let me, let me look. Let me look. The crystal ball is about six inch in diameter. While touching it, you can cast scrying spell DC seventeen with it. Doesn't say any like limit on how many times you can use it. Oh no, scrying. They changed scrying. You no longer target an area, you target a creature. Yeah, you target a creature. No, yeah, no. so if we can't don't I, know. Can't I target a place? What? Not anymore. They uh, changed you, it. you can see and hear a particular creature you choose that is on the same plane of existence as you. The target must make a wisdom saving throw, which is modified, blah, 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 modifiers. Uh, oh, I know why. Save. Yeah. I, I, they ch changed it. Uh, Instead Arcane of targeting a creature, you could choose a location you have seen before as the target of the spell. When you do, the sensor appears at that location and doesn't move. Oh, so I can't. don't I don't see that on the thing I'm reading. It's Sorry. Uh, further down. Further down. It's, no, it's no, at it's the very end. Online. I'm not looking at the right thing. Sorry. Okay, so I could just go bit by bit, basically. You could. Um, that would take a shit ton of time. But... Yes. And if if the person is moving throughout the ship, then like a yeah. there's a chance you won't even see. Um, Drodrick, do we have any idea of where someone could be hiding? Uh, give me a second. Change, change, turn me into something that gives... Because there's a spell, I can't remember what it is, but it allows you to know when there are creatures next to you. Hmm. That would be good. <laughs> like, if we have, like, a ding, and we can see a little blip that's not in the big cluster, then we know it's there. Hmm. Uh, this one is the crystal ball of uh, like mind reading, though. So my hope is that I at least can. Like, is it the mind reading one or the true seeing one? The uh, mind reading. Okay. So if there's someone hidden, that. I mean, the best one you would you would use is probably the true seeing, really. Well, the, uh, we gave but... the true seeing to the other party. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To Almar, yeah. 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 At the time, I thought if they're searching for a, like, hey cat, kitty cat. Okay. Well, Jamie's been uh, polymorph. Bitch cat. Yeah. Was that So yeah, okay. I'll 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 take I'll. How about this? We put two of the veteran guards, a uh, veteran crew, 
on crystal ball duty, and they'll just take different areas of the ship and hopefully find something. I mean, sure. Didn't we have a wand of secrets? Yep. Where? Korg has it. Hmm. I think hey, I, I, I thought Mr. Korg? Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. Uh, you have a couple of wands there. What are they? Uh, wand of secrets. Uh, wand of enemy detection. Both of them are pretty good in this instance. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Cord wouldn't man. realize that. <laughs> uh, hey, can I... Do you mind if I use one of them? Or maybe both? Sure. One's okay, though. Mm. Here you go. Oh, thank you, man. And, and this is why, like, can we are gathering people to the main like, cargo hold. Sure. Problem, yeah. problem is, staff of... Or, not staff, one of secrets only has three charges. Yeah. And so, do, I think so does one of enemy detection. I believe it's a 30 meter radius. Yeah, it's not very good. Uh, seven charges. While holding oh, it, seven. you use an action to expend one charge for the next minute. You know the direction of the nearest creature hostile to you within 60 feet. Mm, that's uh, can sense the presence of hostile creatures that are ethereal, invisible, disguised, or hidden, as well as those in plain sight. Mm. It ends if you stop holding the wand. Uh, it's a rare wand. It's pretty good. Yeah. Eric, uh, I believe your investigative skills are better than mine. How about you do the investigation and I'll do the interrogation? I'll, I'll, I want to interview every crew member. Well, yeah, but you got a lot of small hidey holes around here on this. Yeah. Well, on both ships, really. But uh, well, we know it, they are not on any other ship, if because no one uh, would have time to jump ship during the night. Yeah, good point. Someone would have probably seen. Yeah, it would, um, would have been pretty obvious. Also, at least I hope that at least our scout ship, whose fucking mission it is to keep a lookout, would see if someone were to jump from one ship to another. Well, you're not traveling far you... far either. You're traveling. No. Yeah. You know, Do you have? Do you have secret hidey holes for, like, you know, stolen loot or uh, or illegal cargo? Uh, not that I know of, but I'm sure that some of these panels go off the wall. Uh, I'm pretty good with ships, so I can write down some thoughts. Uh, but, again, I think it would be best if you would do uh, would do the investigation of it so we split. Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> Troll has lived on ships like, his almost his whole fucking life. Of course he knows about, like, oh, well, if you remove panels on these ty- types of ships, you can sit next to the fuel tank. If, if the person is hungry and they see we're all gathered together, they won't be able to get food unless there's food already left out. But... That food could be covered or hidden with uh, glue. Sovereign glue. So when they try to take it, they'll get stuck. Forever. Until we get them. And then, I mean, we could just watch the area. They'll get hungry eventually. Well, yeah, but I don't want to be sitting in that uh, hangar bay for several days waiting for the one to actually... And and again, we don't know for sure if that is a stowaway. I... I... I agree, it sounds like one, but kitty, can't kitty. be sure. Well, gathering everyone together would be the best way. Yeah, and I'm gonna I'm gonna interrogate them one at a time, and we'll see if we get any red herrings, but in the meantime, it would be great if you can investigate this whole store away thing. They're obviously is, dangerous, so keep on Who was the out. closest uh person that part the dude who was like sad right mm-hmm. i can't remember yeah. who it was yeah like the guy I, I, was I, close to danny you, you, yeah, you don't close know to his danny. name yeah yeah i walk up to him and uh I, is everyone gathered or no because no, we're near the body right 
Exactly. So uh, at this point, I think we're splitting up. Like I, I'm going well, off I... with Roderick, and you can stay with the body and a few of the like five of the veteran guards, including the best friend. Well, I was wanting to use the wand of enemy detection in the middle of the group when everyone's gathered. So if it well, is a traitor, they'll have hostile intentions. Well, yeah, you can do that too. But but sure. it's 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 person specific. It says hostile to you. So if you get the closest person in relation to Danny, to maybe yeah. ha be hostile or the captain. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe I should do it, and uh, I find yeah. out how many people hate me. Yeah. <laughs> Captain! All of them. I yeah. throw the wand to you. Yeah, the right. nearest hostile person to Thrall is probably just going to be the nearest person to Thrall. Yeah. <laughs> um, see what happens. All right, I'll, I'll try it out. That's the and... to get him. I, I, I will... <laughs> yeah, are there any footprints? Um... Roll me investigation. Also, kitty. The bag. Get the bag of devouring. <laughs> no. I'm all for it. Thirteen. Jasper Gale. Uh, you do not see footprints, oddly enough. Um, you do see some smudging. Uh, almost as if, like, someone rubbed their hands or their feet or something against the wall to get blood off. And then it's, that's it. No footprints. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, use the wand of secret. At least right no now. footprints of blood. I mean, yeah. there are tons of footprints everywhere because people walk down here every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah. Mm. But no, no, like, bloody footprints, at yeah. least. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use the one, one charge of the Wand of Secrets here and see if there are any, uh, well, hidden locations within 30 feet. From here? Yeah, directly from the body. Uh... No. Damn, okay. I was wondering if it was like a quick attack and get out. Uh, which... No, there's no way to, to determine which way they would have went. And I don't think it really matters because the ship is pretty interconnected, isn't it? Ooh. Dog? Yes. Oh, sorry. Okay, I, I said... Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't hear, sorry. Um, it's alright. I'll, I'll leave. Let's go to Frawl. Give me a sec to think. Okay. What are you doing, Frawl? Right. Uh, when uh, everyone's... You have gathered everybody, yes. Yeah. Uh, everybody On the whale ship, exactly. everyone else, uh, I'll make sure to send them a message with the stone saying... Ja uh, Jamie, your cat is destroying your blanket right now. It is ripping no, it apart. You're not... It is ripping She's the blanket doing... apart. She's it is ripping doing... the blankets. Jasper. Shoot. What are you doing? Hey? Punish the cat. No, oh. she's just uh, making making I know. pancakes. She was, she making, was kneading. Yeah, kneading. Yeah. What is it called when a cat does that? It's making. Well, it's kneading. She, it's called she's, kneading. She's just making the area comfortable for herself, and she, she like, uses it to um, you see it to get milk out of the mum. It's a comfort thing. Okay. You don't follow me. It's a cat, what do you expect? Don't, oh, fuck. You guys did. Just let it be <laughs> in the chair. You don't need the chair. So, uh, he's scattering everyone. And uh, tell, tells everyone on the ship, that, uh, on the other ships, that basically make sure nothing sneaks up on us. Uh, because we are, we are having a situation. Okay. Danny's dead. Understood. Oh my god, not Danny! I know, the prankster. Right, everyone, we... Uh, I don't know how to say this, but someone killed Danny. Just lots of people shaking their heads and going... Yeah. Oh, man. 
Yeah. And you just hear like a low murmur come over mm -hmm. them. So this is what we're gonna do. We all know there's a suspicion about stowaway. So I put a few people on the case and they're gonna search for it. In the meantime, I'm gonna take turns and talk to everyone here. Maybe we can puzzle something together and find out who this person is or where <coughs> that person uh, is hiding. So I'll take one of you at a time. We'll go back, talk a bit, and then next person and so on. Please cooperate. That's an order. Yeah, they, they're okay with it. Yeah. You see as they start sort of, um, while waiting for their turns, they start sort of putting up chairs and tables and yeah. take out cards. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm kind of phrasing it like, oh, I, I need to like talk to you to kind of find out more about where so away could be or if you think, if you've seen something. But I'm also fishing for if they have seen any of the existing crew like being uh, suspicious or if they if i sure. think they any of them are lying to me okay roll me a straight charisma check we're not gonna go over every single one but do i need to make a charisma check can i make a a, per, uh, a persuasion check or a deception or a perception no uh just say no I will. I will. I will allow you to roll me insight instead. Would you like to roll insight? I would not like to roll the insight instead. Charisma or insight? Okay. Yeah, those are your choices. Okay. Okay. I mean, I, I have skills though. Why? Yeah, just not the right ones. Twenty. It's pretty good. From what you can find out, how do you have? Oh yeah, you have plus five. Cause, yeah. Because the crown. Um. You actually find out um, that they've been hearing odd noises coming from the vaults recently. My vault? Yeah, from the vault. Um, <laughs> and that's when you realize it's probably you. But, you know... I should check. You should check anyway. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the the entrance to the vault is kind of connected to the... Isn't it? Hang on. Don't we have, like, a big picture of the whale ship? Yeah, it's right here. Uh, uh, ooh, where is it? Yeah, so I think the... It's the cargo deck. Yeah, cargo deck. Yeah, that's on a, dick, a different one than the entrance or... Uh, shit, what's it called? Where do you enter this thing? You designed it. Dex. I didn't design it. Look at it. I don't know. What? Where? From the promenade deck. Loading, uh, cargo loading ramp. One. Yeah, there's that's a ramp the... that leads down into it. Okay, so that's bas oh, so basically the vault is in the same place where people are st staying right now, yeah. or the vault entrance. Okay, cool. Yeah, so I'm gonna go open it. Okay, you go over. What is the password? Just for password. <laughs> yeah, for 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 the sake. Uh, shit. Okay. Um, the password. Shit. Okay. It's, it's, it's... Fuck, this is got different. Don't put me on the spot. Money, like money, that. money, money. No, no, no. The money obsession is a uh, new... It's a new thing. Yeah. yeah. What was the name of your first captain? Oh, shit. That's a good question. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't choose that because... I told everyone else, like, this is the password, and it would be what, weird. Wasn't the vault actually set up when Dazimar was captain? Uh, no. This was after the... Well, yeah, no, the you only got the whale ship, ship after that. Oh, yeah. no, sorry, I'm thinking no, of no. the other ship, yeah. No, the, the whale ship Daz uh, made. It, uh, he... it, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, it, oh, yeah, no, you, you bought the vault, though, for whale Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right, uh, I would... Else. Ah, fuck. Um... Do I need to tell you right now, or can yes. I just... It's... Uh... Uh... 
What is your mother's maiden name? It's Iron. It's uh, it's Iron Boots Betty. Iron Boots Betty. Yeah. Okay. Um, you go over to it and you say Iron Boots Betty. It opens. So no one you... else can hear. I'm whispering it. Yeah. And you you see that uh, it is. Pretty much empty, like the way you, you usually leave it. Mm hmm. Except for, you know, some yep. goods and things like that. Sure. I'll close it again and then I'll just investigate the whole thing. But I have activate my gem of true seeing. You activate the gem of true seeing. Yeah. And I'm going to look around the whole room. Okay. You look around the whole room. Um. Roll me investigation. Yeah, investigation. Just investigation. Fuck. 18. Hey. You actually look around, and something you didn't notice before is one of the sort of floorboards where the floor meets the wall, like the, the, the wall, is sort of oddly placed. Very, um, what's the word? Loose, almost. Uh, Frawl will kind of continue walking like he didn't see that and just put a hand on his hammer and just approach it, but more like nonchalantly, like, he, as, like he's looking at something else. And then when he is right there, he's just going to flip it up and oh. ready for whatever um, is there. You flip it open, and yeah. you see two small children, um, or at least at first you think they're children, but then you realize that they're probably teenage halflings, mm. um, a boy and a girl. Uh, one of them has a lot of blood on their hands and on their shirt. Um, they are cowering, uh, and they are actually invisible. Oh. The only reason you can see them, however, is because of your true seeing. Yeah. Um, now, you do look around, and you see a lot of the stolen stuff. Mm. Some cheese that has been eaten, some bread, some meats, a couple of pillows, some blankets. They've made a nice little cubby hole here. Um, and actually... You didn't know about this. This is like a, a very obvious smuggling, you know, container mm. for a rather large crate. Okay. Good to know and, for the future. And uh, they are there, and they notice that you see them. Yeah. They are very scared. He kind of puts one of his hammers, like, next to it, dun, and another hammer, dun, like that. And he just leans over and says, you did three things very badly. One, you stole from me. Two, you snuck, snuck into my vault that only <laughs> a select few should be in. And three, you killed Danny. You actually notice now that uh, on the, the one with the blood's neck mm -hmm. is the, the necklace that Danny had as well. <gasps> I'll grab uh, they them They say nothing. They yeah. are, yeah. As you, as you grab them both, they start squealing and no. start trying to move away. There's no way they're going to get out of it. I have, strong. I have, have 30. In you have 30 strength. Yeah. yeah. And he walks towards uh, the exit and opens it up again with the password. Okay. Um... Eric, you you are around here as this is happening. You start. It goes from silence to the, the vault door opening, and then squealing and yelling and like you know, kicking and screaming, all that. I'll run over. Mm. Kind of. And, and I guess you actually this... see as Roderick is running over as well. Yeah. Um... Roderick, get some of those chains, uh, uh, chains we have, and the ma manacles. I found the, found the stowaways, and kind of shakes the one with the blood on them. I also think we found our murderer. 
Roderick's eyes sort of open, and then he sort of nods and runs away. Go get the chains. Um, you notice that they're not speaking common. Uh, they are actually speaking halfling. I don't um, speak that. You don't speak halfling. No. However, uh, Eric, you mm -hmm. are a halfling, correct? So yeah. you do know you do know halfling. Uh, what they're saying is, I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. Please let us go. We won't. We won't do this again. Um, we just wanted to make a new life. You know. What like if Daddy was a pedophile? Yeah, they're Don't just they're screaming and. That's a saying, good point. What if Danny was a pedophile? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> you don't know these people. Yes, I uh, do. Danny, I know. Well, apparently not very well. I know he's. Uh, no, I. Uh, Eric will walk over, and in halfling, say, "Why would you murder someone?" Um. God damn it, New Jersey! All of New Jersey. All of New Jersey. Just fuck New Jersey. Can you just block? That well, he probably would. But... Yeah. Um. You hear? Uh, I couldn't. I couldn't let him hurt my sister anymore. Oh shit, I was right. Don't what are you talking about? Kill them before they can corrupt you. This, um... He says that, uh... He was taken hostage. And, um... Given a ring... And told to stay there, and that at the end of everything, they would be free and in a new world. And then he didn't let them go. Kept, kept them. Well, what ring? He holds up. What Frawl now knows is a stolen ring of invisibility that you all had. Oh. Good thing it wasn't the ring of wish. <laughs> has uh, Roderick uh, gotten here with the chains? Uh, and Roderick has gotten here with the chains. You also see five other men. For all? Yeah. This is absolutely your ship. And of course, it's your law. Uh, unfortunately, we're, we're out in the middle of, well, nowhere, so we don't adhere to any spherical law, just the ship law. Mm -hmm. But I would really, really like it if it wasn't just an immediate execution. Maybe, maybe there was a reason. But I'm not saying, I'm not saying don't trust your crew, uh, or trust them, I'm just asking you to give, give me, give, give, give them some time, please. Don't we arrive at... We arrive at refuge in six days. You have until then to figure this shit out, whatever happened, because not a lot of people know how to get past there, and I want to know how the fuck they got there. And until then, if we haven't, if if it doesn't, I don't know how, but if it, they could possibly be innocent in this, but if it turns out they are, then... They're literally I, I'm, covered in the guy's blood. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, le I'm leaving them to the uh, authorities in the refuge. If you don't That just means they'll have to pay me. a fine. <laughs> Do you, no, you pay. know what that means. They'll be sold into they won't be able to pay. Yeah. They'll, so, they'll be sold into slavery. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what will happen. And then yeah. they will pay the yeah. fine over the next years of their life. Yeah. Over and the next... All of their life, because you know how arcane, arcane work. Well, mm. there's interest, interest there's <laughs> because you have to pay yeah. for their food and their clothing and Even their stay. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we put they them will in. Never the, get out of that. We put them in the into the old cages, 
that we have from the... Okay, yeah, you chained them up. Yeah, um, put them in there. And You see uh, the five guys that are sort of like came in, they came in very angry and they were like ready to, to kick some ass and then they stop and they're like, these little shits killed Tanny? They're just kids. Yeah. Don't trust it. <laughs> well, they're these kids, as you say, <laughs> these kids did kill Danny, and we can't just let it go because of their ki because they're kids. We're putting them in these cages, and Eric here is gonna make talk to them, find out exactly what happened. By the way, um, I should explain. Danny was he sort of looked like Shaggy from uh, what's his name? Um, <laughs> yeah, from Scooby Doo. Uh, from Scooby Doo. Yeah. Uh, except with a Jufro. What the fuck is a Jufro? A Jufro? You've never seen a Jufro? Maybe. I don't know what it is. Uh, it's like an afro. Yeah. But on a, but, uh, but on a white person. Really, yeah. Okay. Cool. I dislike Danny now. <laughs> uh, so... Uh, Tall, lanky looking yeah. mofo. Yeah. So, everyone, uh, we found the culprits. You can go back to uh, your. You can go back to your, your. Jesus Christ. You can go back to your duties and we'll talk about what we'll do with these when we arrive in realm. I'm leaning towards just leaving them to the arcanes. I don't think many here will disagree with that decision. <clears throat> Um, they, they don't know what to say. That wasn't a question. Yeah, and they, they just um, sort of do your, the, your bidding. Yeah. Crystal ball of mind reading. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I'll, what's the save? I get fraud is like, okay, I'm not killing kids, but I'm not gonna let, let them get away with murder. But you go ahead and interrogate them if you think there's more to this than this. Sorry, I'm just checking mind reading. I think it's a DC-17, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'll go ahead and detect thoughts on them. Yeah. We also have a uh, crystal ball of telepathy. If that is better, I don't know. No, but you have both options. Uh, well, actually, I think telepathy is not a bad spell. I mean, you have both, so you can make combinations for like every other stuff like that. But I'm just it's saying eight, you have both. It's an options. eighth level spell. Yeah. I have uh, Roderick watch uh, watch them. By the way. Okay. Yeah. Um, so he's there with Eric. I will say, um, detect thoughts. What what kind of uh, thing is that? That is uh, detect thoughts. The spell. Yeah, I know. Um, what, what is oh, what save? Oh, sorry, D DC seventeen. Yeah, yeah, but what kind of save? Wisdom con. Oh, wisdom. So wisdom. Probably. Yeah, wisdom. Wisdom yeah, or fine. charisma? Uh, wisdom. Find the tab I lost. It. Is it wisdom? Uh, oh, sorry. Hang on. Scry. It just says DC seventeen. It's. Make a wisdom saving throw, yeah. Talk must make a wisdom saving throw. You initially learn- Oh, you just learn the surface thoughts of the, of the creature. What is on its mind in that moment. Yeah, However, you, you can, can detect, probe yeah. deeper, mm. and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. If it fails, you gain insight into its reasoning if it's emotional yeah. state. And I'm guessing uh, interrogating them- looms large in its mind. And I'm guessing interrogating them at the same time would kind of help that. like. Yeah. yeah, questions verbally directed at the target creature naturally shape the course of its thoughts. So the spell is particularly effective as part of an interrogation. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so you start to interrogate them while they're in a cage. Um, what the surface thoughts you get immediately is pretty much grief, anger, uh, sadness, like a 
like in utter sadness, not like, you know, oh, I dropped my cookie. No, like, pretty bad stuff. Um, what's on its mind, what's on the, the, the boy's mind is stabbing the, the guy to death in an anger. I, I would think that would be on his mind, yeah. Um, what's on the girl's mind is her brother coming back to him with blood on his hands. Blood all over him. Because he's a murderer. Uh, she is very worried. Um, he is just glad. Glad that he is dead. Hmm. So she's unrepentant is what you're saying. He is unrepentant. She has no idea what's going on and is, quite frankly, scared. Um, do you want to know more? Um, I'm going to press the... I'm going to read the mind of the guy who murdered him. I want to... Okay. Yeah, I want to probe deeper and see if... And I'll, I'll, I'll lead the direction of who gave you the ring, exactly. Ooh. 1d20 plus 2, there you go. 11, the yeah, end no. Um, who gave him the ring? Uh, Danny did. It was definitely Danny? It was definitely Danny. Did he say anything, or it, does it line up with what he said, Danny said, to keep the ring on and it'll be alright? Yeah, pretty much. I really want to find a way to resurrect Danny so he can pay for his crimes. Well, it seems like he did, if you believe that. He got stabbed oh. to death. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll, 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 I'll go into the girl's mind then. Probably not, okay. not wanting to see this. Uh, she oh, wow. saves against it. Hmm. Oh. How long does I, it take before you can do it again? Is it 24 hours? It's 24 hours for, yeah, they're doing it. You have six days. Succeeds. I, I tell her that I understand you're scared, but what I'm trying to do is save you both right now. If I can't figure out a good way to solve this mess, then you guys are going into slavery. And it's not my fault, it's not anyone's fault, but you know how arcane are. He, she doesn't know what to say to that. She's. Uh, I, I just ask her to focus on a happy memory from now on. A, a lunch at home, breakfast at home, dinner, third dinner, fourth dinner, all that shit. Make her think of that. For the entire day, and I, to basically try to like lower her mental defenses, you know, make her less scared. Okay. Um, Brainwash. You say you say that, and yeah. she's sort of like uh, even more distressed. Oh. Um. Yeah. You get the feeling that uh, these kids may not have had a home. <laughs> Happy thoughts, happy thoughts. Your mother, she's dead. Father, dead. Brother, dead. Home, burned out. Damn it! <laughs> Flowers! None. <laughs> Light. It was always dark. Well, I mean, I'll try again tomorrow. And okay. the next day, I'll keep, keep pushing. Uh, just roll me an all-around, um investigation check oh, okay and i'll tell you what what you get by the third day okay uh, my character <sighs> sorry i'm getting lag investigation Yoink. Yeah. Give, you I'll give you advantage, because, you know, why not? Because yeah. you're taking your time. Oh, wow. 13. 
Rick comes out in the middle of it, like, hey! <laughs> they never trust you again. <laughs> From what you can gather, um, they are street urchins. They were taken in by Danny because the, they promised that they, he would uh, be, t you know, they would have a new life on a new world away no from their thing. Uh, once you guys got to um, Mirror, they were kept. Uh, and now you are going to Refuge, and they were abused by Danny. Um, called it. I didn't want to believe. At least, you know, from his, from their perspective. Mm -hmm. Think you know a person? Alrighty. Uh, I ask for all. Um, uh, Mr. Captain. You get that on day three, basically. All of that. Mr. Captain. Uh, this is in the like office thingy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So and when we're alone, Eric, you can just call, call me Frol. Oh, okay, Frol. Um, I do like the Mr. Captain part, though. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, Mr. Captain. Ah. You'll you'll need to choose one though. Uh, anyway, so I'm ninety nine point eight percent sure that Danny was not a nice man. And, by all accounts, probably deserved that death, unfortunately. Uh, there were not a lot of nice things. Danny was a bad man. Promised to help him, and then hurt them a lot. However... That would explain how they got into the vault. That the normal stowaway could get in there. Yep. Yeah. Someone would have had to let him in. Yeah. How and on top work? of that, on top yeah. of that, uh, we have wish. We have a couple wishes. <laughs> We're not just gonna use. <laughs> well, no, no, no. You can, you can. So, okay. The thing with uh, wishing is, a lot of people think that you go, "Oh, I wish for a million gold," and oh. y you know. It'll it'll drop a million pounds of gold on you, at like a block. Like, Sorry, you were saying. No, 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 no. no. So, but it's dangerous, right? It's very, very dangerous. It doesn't go your way. Mm. But wish can emulate spells. Basically, um, we can resurrect Danny, and make him face judgment. Your crew would love that. Yeah, bring back their friend from the yeah. dead and then put I him on trial. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think uh, we should be using our very limited wishes for that considering we are soon gonna be facing things that can well, basically that gods are fighting for. Uh, well, I, I as, believe... As, as a reminder, gods can stop wishes. Well, but we need every arsenal disposable to us. And I, Danny's dead, and what what you're saying makes sense. However, we can't just let the children go. The crew would not trust any of us anymore. How about this? Space, do you still have the cubic gate? Space, um... yeah. It doesn't. It doesn't work in the void. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, so throw them into space. Okay, about that. <laughs> How, how about this? Uh, we we still give them to the arcanes, but we make sure that they uh, they are actually put to work and not uh, servitude. It's the same thing. No, no, without a debt to so pay. So indentured indentured servitude instead of no, no, slavery. Just, no. <laughs> a paid, no, no, no. a paid service. No, no, no. But if they don't Sorry. have a debt to pay, it's not indentured servitude. It's enforced okay. apprenticeship. 
But we'll we'll make we'll make sure to uh, arcanes love their contracts. Hey, this is more like an internship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we, we make sure that uh, we Ever we make sure that until I until I declare you fit. Yeah. That's a great arcane clause. Yes. So. What I was saying was, we could let uh, we could give them to an arcane ship or a ship in realm and have them work there, but we'll make sure that they are released with uh, a good year for for murder. They're teenagers, right? Let's say three years. You shouldn't condemn what? one man for one. They're I mean they're. It was just they were defending themselves by by all other legal accounts that would be justified. They don't, they, they don't have a home. They're not getting one here. No, uh, no, I'm not trying to give them no, one. I have a scroll of ban. Risen. I have I have a scroll of banishment. It'll return them to their home sphere. Well, they don't have a home there either, if I understood it correctly. But, my point. So my point is. My point oh. is, if they have a job. They can get one for their own, and if they have coin, they can travel somewhere else. That won't happen under the service of the arcane. Well, uh, we'll make sure that the contract says so. That, that does not happen. Sure, it will. Uh, All so their basic of, employ, not uh, servitude. Instead of that, though, we could also send them back to their home plane which would be a different sphere, wherever that is, because each person is connected, right, to their sphere. Mm -hmm. So if I banished you, well, I'm not saying I would, but if theoretically I banished you, you would probably return to whatever home sphere you were born. Yeah, but they wanted to leave there so badly that they were uh, willing to be stowed away on a ship during, over, uh, under some planks. I don't think they would want to go there. They would just try the same thing again with a different ship. Well, the, this time they would, could have money to buy passage, and, and it and they wouldn't, and it wouldn't be the Danny picking them up. I I prefer the idea of them li uh, working for their living rather than we just giving them this. When they are old uh, enough, they will have enough money to actually go do something themselves, and they have... That'll be like 50 to it. 60 years no, of servitude. No, I, I just told you th three years. Because in, I, elven, in elven terms, which would be like... In three years, so. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, it, well, so in that case, translate ten, to like 50 years. Ten, okay, 10 dwarven years. Which would translate to, to like 100 years. What? Is it the other way around? Okay, sorry. Five halfling years, then. How about that? Halfling years are the same as humans. Five years, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, still five years. Yeah, then, there we go. It, but that won't happen. They won't agree to that. Well, if Would they get you? paid, they do. So you're going to pay them for murder? No, I'm not paying the fucking children. I'm paying the arcane so for the okay. children to work on a ship. You're, Guys, so what you you're are saying is you're making this more difficult than it has to be. I just want to. Right? I want to. I want to uh, wrap my head around this. What yeah. you're saying is you're going to go to an arcane. Yeah. You're going to be like, look, I have these kids. I want to pay you so that you have free work. Work. Yeah. Exactly. Why? And and the clause is you. You wouldn't do this them, to a dwarf. And you, you release you, them no you, matter what. If before. this was a dwarf, you would not be doing this. No, I, I'm doing it because they're children and because they deserved it. So and the children deserve to it. go to prison. Yes. The uh, teenagers do. Sure. Okay, guys. How about this? <laughs> we can decide over the the week what you guys really want to do. For now, let's go back to Alistair. Eric has already and, decided yeah. what he's and, doing. And, yeah. Okay. Let's let's go back to Alistair and Kia and and Gregory and the the other party. Um, never got an answer from Kia. So, what's going on? Are you just gonna? How long before you come out of that room? 
Yeah, that's a good question. That's oh yeah, basically in the morning or in the evening. That's basically yes. the answer. Are we you need. leaving? Are you leaving to go to your own room, or are you gonna stay there until the ship arrives? Why is this such a personal conflict for you, Jamie? <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't know. I'm trying to say something. Go ahead. You guys keep right, speaking. Go ahead. Oh, okay. So just considering the amount of alcohol that Kia had, she'd probably pass out in the room. But then for the rest of the time, would stay in her own room. It's okay. Just that one day slash so night. So spend the night with her. On the floor, most likely. Okay. Um. So then nothing happens. The next day, yes. you wake up. The next day, you wake up in your own bed. Gregory had... Oh. Gregory had picked you up, put you in your own bed, tucked you in. Uh, and you mm -hmm. have a nice cup of water and uh, what appears to be like a herbal pill next to it with a note. What was the note read? The note says... Um, you were pretty drunk yesterday. Uh, you should probably take this pill. We are going to go investigate um, our new ship. We'll be back by the evening, and then we'll say goodbyes. Okay. Cool. I'm going to take that pill and give a good old... Just skull the water, really. Mm -hmm. So you've now lost your... You've actually take it, uh, and it seems to be... Pretty good because your hangover is gone, like almost immediately. That's some good shit. Magic. Some good water. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Is there anything you want to do before they leave? No. Okay. So, Alistair, you wake up. Do you just report to Kia? Yes. After you are also hungover as fuck. Yes. I, worst you've ever been. Yeah, get up, get presentable, report to Kia. Still probably slurring a bit after the amount he drank last night. Probably. You see that he, he... He's tried his best to look presentable, but he still looks disheveled. And it's probably still an hour far too early for Kia because he would still drag himself up at the normal like dawn <laughs> <laughs> okay Jesus Christ Alistair I, um, I I can report that the mission was accomplished man. <laughs> well done sir you you done well okay um, got a bit to go on. The other crew, they're finding their ship before they leave. They said they'll be back by dawn, but I don't really mind if we don't say goodbye or not. So... You, you, you seem but, fairly, um, upset with them. No, I'm just upset with the more of the situation, really. Do you know when you're upset with something, like an actual situation, and you tend to take it out on the people closest? Okay, this is, it's called being, I was about to say human, but it wouldn't be human, would it? You aren't human, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not human. It's, it's called um, being it's a person. A, it's called being a person. It's, I can't go into the complexities of social situations and the psyche and ego, so please, ego. You know what? Let's just continue. <laughs> we good. Okay, so I've got a little bit to go on, and I'll pull open the map. So you know why we're here, right? To obtain the gem, yes. Good job. It's good that you're taking notes. Okay, so the guy that came in, the bard, he said that the king, who my intel says has the ring, is here, and a point it. Let me scroll down to my notes. <laughs> Everland. The city of Everland. Then we need to go so, to the city of Everland. Well, what I'm thinking is that we could disguise ourselves as people that want to join the cause or join the king or whatever. 
just to get like we don't have to get part the parts the um what do you call it like um uh, paying servitude what do, what do you call it um when you you say something and therefore your soul belongs to them wow Val, that's the one. No, no, no. Your weird concept of marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Agreeing a concept. Swear yeah. So yeah, so we don't have to exactly agree on a contract per se yet now, but we could get some intel so when our crew arrives, we have a better understanding on how to get the ring. I, I, I should inform you that dishonesty is not my best trait. It isn't mine either. But we don't have to be dishonest. We just don't have to let it get to the point that it, we're signing a contract, if that makes sense. We just have to play the part. I'm not good at playing parts, and except for following orders. I so follow join, my order. To join another cause. When no, we're I'm not joining the other cause. We're getting intel on the other cause. So to better understand how we get the ring, or well, the gem. Why do I keep referring to it as a ring? I'm to get the gem. Sure. What was that? I don't know. Just some Finn, guy with whistling. your gun. Get your gun. Some guy whistling. <laughs> we both get our guns like this. <laughs> what was that? You turn towards a guy who's just happily using his, happily uh, eating his meal, his breakfast, and he's like, "Whoa, hold <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> I was having Sorry. brunch. We um, we have a bit of PTSD. <laughs> Alistair, Alistair, put your gun away. Of course. Okay, so I, maybe we should try find." Follow your lead. Follow my lead. Okay. Um, I guess I'll ask around, see how long it takes for us to get from Neverwinter to Everland. Oh, wait, wait, where, where are we? Yeah, Neverwinter. Uh, by foot or by yeah. carriage? Or carriage. I'm not walking there. Look how fucking far or away it is. Or by, <sighs> yeah, or by teleport. I don't want to throw my runny around. I already have with Ogres, but they don't know shit. I, I kind of um, spent a couple hundred gold on booze last night. Yeah, I guess it's at this point if anyone's paying attention. You get about a problem. week's travel to get to Ireland? By carriage? Mm. I just realized, when the crew gets here, how the fuck are they going to know we're in Neverwinter? Is there a port nearby here? We have a scrying thing. They yeah, have, sending uh, stones. <clears throat> that too? So do I. It's in my inventory. 